Guys, are we all hyped for Stellar Crown? Can't wait for the release day to see everyone opening up this lovely set. Wait, you've seen other people opening it? You've opened it yourself? What's up, little pups? Today, we're gonna be talking about how Stellar Crown has already been opened in mass throughout all the social medias. I started seeing it with Chris Pye, where he opened a booster box of Stellar Crown, and then like the past few days, my whole feed has been filled with tons of videos and live streams of people opening up this set. Do you know that this set releases on the 13th of September? And the thing is, we already have prices on TCG Player and people selling it on eBay, so we can already see pre-prices for these cards. Let's take a look here. We have uh, Terra Pagos, TCG Player. We have Terra Pagos, the Rainbow Turtle. Uh, for $150 market price, we have the Bulbasaur, the lovely Bulbasaur as the second most expensive, then the Squirtle as the third most expensive at $50. Uh, Lacey is not here for some reason, uh, I guess they haven't uh, brought her in, but uh, you can already tell that Lacey is expensive at like $120 on eBay. And actually, let me see, what if I put sold listings, what happens here? Uh, well, I don't see any lazy cards being... Oh, well, actually, there's a $120 one by a pretty big seller. All right, you can already see that people are already buying all these Stellar Crown cards. That's crazy. Let's keep going. We have uh, Breer for $49 market price. Now, on eBay, she is apparently selling for like $60. Uh, Area Zero Under Depths, that's the rain... That's the gold... Let me see if I can find it here. The gold, this one right here, that's probably like a really good trainer card. That's why it's so expensive. Uh, Dash Bun EX, personally, going to be one of my favorite cards because of the ability. It's very reminiscent of a lovely card that was in Hard Gold Soul Silver called Blissey Prime. And then we have Terra Pagos, the, probably the, the gold or full art, sparking crystal, and then all the IRs. So you can probably tell that these prices are probably not accurate. There's way too much hype for Stellar Crown now. The release date is on the 13th, which is 11 days from now. What I believe are going to be the actual range uh, prices. Now I can't really predict the future precisely, but uh, the overall vibe I get from these cards is that I believe the Terra Pagos at $150 now will probably be a sub $100 card. I would probably put at around $80 in the future. The Bulbasaur and the Squirtle, I would, you know, honestly, those prices aren't too bad. The problem is that the 151 ones are much cheaper. Uh, I would definitely put both of them at around the 151 prices. They aren't really that much cooler in the 151s, especially the Squirtle. Breer is a lovely, beautiful detail card, but I definitely put it at a step below, step below the pairing and the Carmine from Twilight Masquerade. So I would, I think the, you know what? I think the price actually is really accurate for that card. And honestly, not too bad. Honestly, not too bad. Dash Bunny X, it depends how good it's going to be in the meta as well. I would definitely think that the market price that TCG player has it for right now is actually pretty accurate. I feel like it could be 30, a $30 card, especially if the rarity of pulling these cards is like around the same as Twilight Masquerade, where it's actually kind of difficult to pull an SIR, like uh, one out of every two boxes, uh, every two, three boxes. So these could definitely withhold and uh, stay with the uh, price they have right now. The Lacy card, the Lacy card, which is still not in TCG player for some reason, selling at around $120 now. This card. I cannot tell you how I think this card really looks like an Iono 2.0. And if Iono SIR is at around $65 now, I do not see this card being over $65. I am sorry. Iono is a step above this card. It's literally the same type of art style. And Iono is a much more favorite character than Lacey. Honestly, definitely $120 is not what I see it being not even close. For the rest of SARs like Galvantula, Hydrapple, uh, let's put Dash Bun, just the one I was talking about. All of the, all of these three, I would put them around the same price. I would put them at around $15 to maybe $30. Well, if the rarity is much greater, maybe $20, 20 to $35. Let's put like $20 to $35 as a range for each of these SIRs. Hydrapple though is does does seem like it has a decent ability. I would put Hydrapple as the most expensive one out of these. 
my opinion. Like I said, this this set really lacked the Lapras SIR. That card, I promise you, would have been a sort of like a mini rival to the Greninja, but Stellar Crown definitely does not look like it's going to be a competitor to Twilight Masquerade. That is why Twilight Masquerade is going to keep gaining traction and momentum all the way until we get Surging Sparks. That's where maybe Twilight will leave the spotlight for a bit. But uh, Stellar Crown is definitely a place for <laughs> Twilight Masquerade to keep incubating and keep growing in popularity. So yeah, I definitely do believe the prices of Stellar Crown are going to be uh, comparable to tw uh, Temporal Forces where Raging Bull is like an $80, $75 card, the most expensive card in the set. Terra Pagos, I would definitely put it at the same league as Raging Bolt. And uh, Raging Bolt, you know, around an, an $80 card. You know, Terrapago definitely deserves to be like around an 80 to 90 maybe maximum dollar card. So what do you guys think about all these prices? Everyone opening up Stellar Crown. Do you, do you like watching content already 13, 11 days before the release date? Uh, do you think these prices are accurate? What do you guys think and how would you guys price the top cards of this set? Anyways... Keep in touch with me and let's go on to the next news.